Justin Gaethje in a recent interview spoke on Khabib. He said if Khabib's team tried to jump him, it would be very cowardly. So everywhere Khabib goes, he got a big click rolling with him, a lot of guys. So just in case, will you get some people on your back? Just, you know, just in case. No. You don't need it. Uh, um, you know, he could he could slap me in the face and I would you know walk away. I wouldn't. I don't need to come. I don't need that competition. Um, you know, under certain certain circumstances, it's you know, I'll just fight until I die. You know, and if if they have too many people, then you know they're cowards, and that's not how men fight. Um, so I know that Khabib wouldn't you know try to outnumber me. If he wants to fight, it's one on one. He's not going to jump me. Uh, people in Russia or where you're from. I don't believe uh, that's that's manly. I think that's that has to be cowardly all over the world. So I don't believe I have to worry about that. With Israel Adesanya most likely to defend his middleweight title against Paulo Costa next. Paulo Costa recently mocked Israel Adesanya for dyeing his hair pink. On his Twitter he posted this. He went on to say the only thing more disturbing than this video was your fight against Romero. Somebody tell you Sider to test him for too much estrogen. Sean O'Malley at the UFC 252 Virtual Media Day speaks on his upcoming matchup against Marlon Vera. Yeah, I think it's a perfect co-main event for, for a legendary card. Stipe DC is, is you know, the, the biggest trilogy fight ever at heavyweight um the baddest men in the world so to fight right before them is it's insane it's going to be something to, to look back on and have a you know it's going to be an awesome memory he's uh he's in the ufc he's tough he's beat people in the ufc he's finished people he's in, in the ufc and he's never been finished so he's all around he's a tough it's a tough fight it's a good fight um he's my toughest opponent to date and with that said, I'll, I'll probably still drop him in the first round. Yeah, he's going to try to take me down. He's, he's a black belt in jiu-jitsu, um, and I knock people out. So I think that, that it's a striker versus grappler matchup. So yeah, absolutely. I think he's going to try to push me up against the fence, trip me, and, and work on top. Yeah, absolutely. I think, uh, you know, as fast as a starter as I am and as slow as he is, I think that that equals a first round knockout. Yo, so just finished an awesome care meeting tonight discussing the city of Albuquerque. We're plotting, aren't we guys? Yeah. We're, we're, coming. we're plotting on this city. Uh, we understand that school is starting and there's a lot of families out there without internet. There's a lot of families out there without laptops and uh, a lot of the necessities. So we are putting our heads together and we're gonna come up with something powerful to really put a big old dent yes, in that are. problem. All right, guys. Care on three. One, One, One two, two, three, care! care. Paige Van Zandt officially signs with Bare Knuckle Fighting Championship. Welcome to Bare Knuckle Fighting Championship. Thank you so much. So I am so excited. I was just telling everybody that huge news that I obviously signed a big contract with you guys and I am really excited. Now we're so excited to have you. We're gonna, both, both teams are gonna blow this thing up and I know it's gonna be great, Paige. We're so excited to have you. I love your resiliency. I love everything about the way that you uh, um, attack everything that you're doing. So we're just gonna enhance that and make you into a super mega star right now. Thank you, I can't wait. And this is definitely a dream come true. So everyone, make sure you go follow, uh, you know, Fair Knuckle because there's big stuff happening on their channels with me. And I can't wait to get my next fight announced and my first fight announced. Oh, absolutely. Again, um, we'll have that announcement coming up soon, but today was great to be able to finally get that signed contract. We've been talking for a while and yeah. we're going back and forth. And I, I know, you know, hopefully you, we made you happy and I, you know, we, we see the value in you and we see what you can bring to us. And I think you see what we can bring to you and that's, you know, it's a great partnership. Hey everybody. Uh, we just finished one more great training today. And, uh, we are not in lockdown anymore. Everything is fine with our uh, COVID test. So we were able to, to leave the hotel. So we came to the PI, Performance Institute, UFC Performance Institute, to do our, our training. And now it's a, it's a jacuzzi time, you know? <laughs> Relax a little bit, you know, so then we can sleep better. Because tomorrow, tomorrow is our last training before the fight. And uh, yeah, I'm feeling great and I can't wait, man. Almost there. Ben Askren on his Instagram answers if he'll ever make a comeback in MMA. 
Question today was, we want Funky back. Will I ever unretire? And funny enough, I just answered this question on my podcast I do with Front Row Brian. And the answer is, listen, I like at this point, uh, not very long till my hip gets done. Um, once my hip gets done, here's what I said. I said, number one, I know I'm going to need to do something so I don't get too overweight, right? Because I love to eat. I want to make myself make weight. So what that composition looks like, I'm not really sure what that looks like. Um, but obviously, if I'm going to do it, I might as well get paid for it. Then on top of that, like, I love fighting. I love combat. I really enjoy it. Um, so I don't think I'll ever, like, do a full comeback. Would never do that. Where, hey, I'm going to come back. I'm going to try a good title. I don't think so. If someone said, hey, come fight this person. And, you know, I was feeling squirrely. And the money was right. I suppose I would do it. Right? And so, again, I don't think, I don't think, I, well, let's say, I'm 100% certain fighting will never be my career. Right? It will never be something I do full time again. Does that mean it's something that I'll never, ever, ever do at all again? No, I, I don't think that's, that's what that means. So um, that's kind of my answer. And it's, it's funny because I thought I was going to be retired, you know, by age 30, way, way earlier in my life than I ended up retiring. Um, and here I am, uh, <laughs> age 36. And yeah, I guess I'd take another fight if it was the right fight. And, you know, after my heel, you know, hip heals, which is still probably, uh, you know, I got to do this surgery and then another year after that. Um, yeah, I don't see why not. So that's it. I appreciate you guys, the questions. Have a great day. Peace. Man, Cheeto's going to get a little workout. We got the mighty Colin Oyama. And UFC in bed. Leave him all by herself. We're doing a hell of a job. And Brian Kelleher on his Instagram breaks down Sean O'Malley versus Marlon Vera. Uh, Co-main event O'Malley versus Vera. As much as I'd love to see Vera win, I just feel like Vera's been falling in love with his striking. You know, he's been fighting guys on the feet. He's not a heavy wrestler. He's great at jiu-jitsu. But against a guy like O'Malley, you got to start strong. you got to pressure him with wrestling, clinch, push him against the cage, constantly make him defend takedowns. And I think that would slow him down and, and potentially be able to drain him. But I don't know if uh, Vera is that guy, you know, he's he's doing better and better with his striking. He's, he's a scrappy guy. He's definitely got more experience with higher level competition than O'Malley. But, uh, but O'Malley's got that knockout power. He's got the reach. He's definitely going to come out strong. And I think Vera starts a little slower. So those are some things that I see in this fight. Uh, O'Malley's Minus 320, Vera's plus three, 260. I think those odds are a little bit favorable for O'Malley. But uh, if you want to take a risk, I think Marlon Vera is a good risky underdog bet. Um, as far as like payout goes, I don't think Vera's going to win. But you never know, man. If Vera brings a good game plan and pressures O'Malley early and takes him down with some trips or takedowns and kind of uh, lands some ground and pound and looks for some jujitsu. He could pull it off, but I just don't see that happening. I see O'Malley catching him eventually. I feel like he just, he starts really fast. And, uh, you know, it's going to be hard to, uh, for, for uh, Vera to get in his groove and, and land some big shots. Uh, and also, Vera's not really known to be like a crazy good wrestler. So, like, how's he going to really overwhelm uh, O'Malley with the wrestling? I just don't really see that.